At launch, Apple Arcade will offer over 100 groundbreaking new games to play. So let's look at some of the games you should be excited for. At the time of uploading this video, only 35 games have been revealed. And remember, all these games will be playable across macOS, iOS, and tvOS. Anyway, let's get to it. Starting at number 10, we have Overland. This is a post-apocalyptic road trip strategy game developed by Finji. The main goal here is to look after your group of travelers. This means you'll be fighting away menacing creatures, rescuing other survivors, and scavenging for supplies, like weapons, fuel for your car, and first aid kits. The very interesting thing about this game is that every time you play Overland, it will offer you a different experience. So you may come across different people who could be friendly or not friendly, Plus, you'll discover new places that offer different environments and challenges. Overland will focus heavily on the aspect of the end of the world, decision making and consequences. Number 9 is The Bradwell Conspiracy. Not much has been shared about this game yet, but I do know a few things. It is an adventure experience by Bossa Studios and A Brave Plan. It is going to be an immersive first person narrative that will take place during an explosion that occurred in the Bradwell Electronics in 2026. Part of the gameplay revolves around an NPC relationship. Two people, I think you'll play as one of them, will communicate with each other to solve puzzles and move further through the story by using glasses that have a photographic messaging system. Plus, there is a 3D printing gameplay mechanic. I don't know exactly how it works, but you can use it to solve puzzles. That's all I know so far, but it looks quite interesting. Number eight, we have Lego Brawls. Lego Brawls will be an Apple Arcade exclusive game when it launches, and it's being worked on by Lego and Red Games. Basically, it's an online fighting game set in the Lego universe. Lego Brawls allows you to create your own characters, work with your teammates to construct and operate machines, and in the end, battle other players to win. It does resemble Super Smash Bros at first glance, but it does bring in more destructible environments, heaps of player customization, and the classic LEGO humor found in other games in the series. I think it will be a pretty popular multiplayer game for Apple Arcade when it releases later this year. Number seven is Enter the Construct. Almost nothing is known about this game, apart from it being a sci-fi first-person shooter set on another planet. The reason why I'm excited about this game, and so should you, is because it's being developed by Directive Games Limited. You might not even know who those people are, but they are a team of veteran game developers. In the past, they have worked closely with Apple to create the mobile game The Machines, which was the world's first competitive online AR game, and it was a successful title. So for Apple to be working closely again with this team on a first person shooter, that has me excited. But who knows, I could be wrong. <laughs> Number six, we have Where Cards Fall. Here is another Apple Arcade exclusive game brought to you by Snowman and the Game Band. Where Cards Fall will be a narrative puzzle game it tells a coming-of-age story that deals with very uncomfortable but familiar experiences that you would personally go through in your own adolescent life. For example, this could be school life, parties, home life, personal thoughts, etc. What I like about this game and what I'm excited to see is that it has no guns, no killing. It just tells a rich and engaging story. It might not be for everyone, but I think it has the potential to really have a positive impact on the people who play it. Number five is Hot Lava. Klee Entertainment, the developers of this game, have put so much attention to childhood nostalgia, allowing Hot Lava 
to be a game that reminds you of your childhood imagination. The gameplay has you avoiding contact with the, well, hot lava below, so players will have to run, jump, climb, and even surf to get through levels. And it will also have a drop-in, drop-out multiplayer feature, I believe, for up to eight of your friends. Hot Lava may have a simple concept, but I strongly believe it will be very addicting in a good way, as it adds in fast-paced parkour and what appears to be great level designs. Number four, we have Fantasian. What's cool about this RPG game is that the world has been created by hand. The devs Mistwalker Corporation and Final Fantasy creator Hironobu Sakakuchi, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, have built dioramas here, then taken photos of them, and finally put in 3D characters. Just imagine how long this process would take to create all these sets. You have to be really impressed by the attention to detail here. Fantasia should hopefully be similar to Sukakuchi's previous titles like Lost Odyssey and Terror Wars. But really, not much is known yet, apart from that we should play as a young girl. Number three is The Pathless. The Pathless looks to be an absolutely gorgeous game, from the visuals to the gameplay itself. It's the follow-up game to Abzu, developed by Annapurna Interactive and Giant Squid. The Pathless will be a mythic adventure game where you play as a hunter who has an eagle friend always by your side. There is a huge world to explore here that takes place on a luscious island. According to the devs, The Pathless is going to be a cinematic experience that also brings action and an immersive story. I can't say much else yet because not much else is known, but I'm excited to see what The Pathless has to offer later this year. Number two, we have Beyond a Steel Sky. For many years, the developer Revolution Software has been dropping small hints here and there about their upcoming game, and finally, it's been confirmed as Beyond a Steel Sky. Beyond a Steel Sky is a cyberpunk thriller that packs complex puzzles, an in-depth narrative, and choice and consequences. The art style does remind me of Borderlands somewhat, and the gameplay might be like Life is Strange. However, the devs have worked with comic book artist Dave Gibbons, who co-created and drew Watchmen, and that has me quite excited. The devs promise that this game is going to be a full, high-quality console game, from the story, character modeling, graphics, and audio. Number one, we have Oceanhorn 2, Knights of the Lost Realm. Right now, this is the game I'm most excited to play from Apple Arcade. It packs incredible graphics and really good action RPG gameplay from what I've seen anyway. If you've played the original game, well Oceanhorn 2 is set 1000 years before that game. And as you can see, this is a very different game with a completely different art style, gameplay and worlds, environments, etc. It has new treasure to find, creatures to meet and defeat, and environments to explore. I reckon Oceanhorn 2 will be very popular amongst gamers when it launches later this year, and who knows, it might be the game people think of when they hear Apple Arcade. Oceanhorn 2 looks like a fully fleshed out game that you would see on consoles, for instance. I'm super, super excited to play it. Here are some other games you should be excited for. Lifelike. Card Apocalypse. Monimals. Hitchhiker. Yaga. Sayonara Wild Hearts. Atone, Heart of the Elder Tree. The Artful Escape. Projection First Light. So, which games are you most excited to play from Apple Arcade, and why? You might have a very different list to me. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, good news. I plan to release many, many more Apple Arcade videos coming up to the launch and after, so keep an eye on this channel. 
Anyway, thanks for watching.